Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Zen 1010 reporting to you about the thunderous, thunderous victory. The white heat marble that won the NBA Finals last night in the American Airlines Arena. The Miami Heat. Like all good airline pilots or pilots know, when you fly in a thunderstorm, you reduce power. You slow the aircraft down to maneuvering speed so that when you transverse the thunderstorm clouds and the hail and the turbulence that you're going to go through, you must slow the airplane down to avoid structural damage. You maintain your heading and control and ride through the storm. And what beautiful examples there were of <clears throat> all of the Miami Heat players slowing down and at the guidance of the two or three players who understood that the game was not over until those zeros were on that scoreboard. LeBron had to remind a couple of people, and I could read his lips as he kept saying, not now. Not now. We're not quite there. We got some time left on that clock. We've got to slow it down and play a point at a time and control our destiny and not start celebrating too soon. And thus the Miami Heat held the heading. They held their altitude. They continued to go through the thunderstorm and the white hot heat melted the ice on the aircraft and there was no problem structurally and mentally they won the ball game and physically the rest followed congratulations to the great miami heat basketball team as they held the course and the thunderous and white heat of the the great great installation in the miami arena the american airlines arena they were, it was witness to the fact that there was no doubt that the Oklahoma Thunder, being a great basketball team and perhaps second best in the nation at this time, they held the course also. And congratulations to the great play of the, the Thunder from Oklahoma City. What a great bunch of guys. And as, as was evidenced by the the sportsmanship that was displayed after the game. LeBron, D. Wade, Mr. Bosch, Mr. Miller, Mr. Battier, Mr. Maurice Chalmers, all of these guys that played a role in this uh, team effort. Uh, I kept hearing at the great guidance of Eric Spoilstra, the things that I kept hearing were we wanted a championship and we wanted to become a team. We didn't want to become a superstar. They became a team and they won the championship. And as I had said before this game started, before this series, the Miami Heat, by playing every point, one point at a time and experiencing each point until it was over and then start another one, they would continually win point after point, which leads to victory. And I really congratulate the team, the organization, the great coaching of Eric Spoilstra, and the wonderful perimeter play of all of the Miami Heat players who added to the victory and whose, without whose play would never have accomplished the team effort that it was going to take to beat the thunderous thunderous basketball team from Oklahoma City. Mr. Durant, one of the finest players I've seen in a long, long time. What a great, great player. By God, when he gets the ball, he's going to score. And I'll tell you, it was a tough road for these guys, but congratulations to the White Heat from Miami, Florida. LeBron, that one was for you, baby. And for the citizens of Miami and for the the, the fans of Miami, we appreciated that display of sportsmanship and that display of, of great, great teamwork that, that led to that victory. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy and savor the victory. And this is Mr. Zen 1010 saying good afternoon and congratulations. Bye-bye, folks.